Hey guys, what's up? It's Justin here from uh, Cinema 4D Tuts. Uh, yeah, this is a tutorial by Justin. Crazy, I haven't done one in a very long time. But uh, first off, uh, there's a new TV show. It's called Smash. It's uh, it's about dreaming big and the desire to be a star. Um, it's by Steven Spielberg. And the, uh, the full, complete pilot episode is uh, exclusively online, so it's not even being shown on TV. So you can see it first by clicking the link in the description below. Uh, so click it to see it before it goes on TV, and uh, make sure to subscribe to the page and say that Cinema 4D Tuts sent you. It would be uh, really great if you guys did this, because I think it's going to be a really cool show. And uh, yeah, it should be interesting. But anyways, this is a uh, tutorial on lighting and uh, materials. Um, actually, I think it's just going to be focused on li uh, lighting and uh, soft boxes because um, I do believe I have a materials tutorial out. And uh, this lighting tutorial will be on not just like Okay, click the light, drag it up, and I'll, yep, yep, that's a pretty good, pretty good light. Uh, no, it won't be like that. So first off, just make whatever you want to light up. Um, I'll just do uh, a floor and some cool text or something. Um, not even really cool text, just something to show you guys something cool. Uh, what text should I use? Um. Yeah, guys, I'm sorry I really haven't been putting out tutorials. Uh, Val has primarily been doing tutorials, and I have been uh, really busy this semester, but this semester should be great. I'm trying to make as many videos as I have time for. Um, Alright, that's floating above a little bit, but whatever. And I'm going to put Justin. Bam. Okay, pretty cool text, I suppose. I don't think I've ever used that. And just put whatever you want on there. Um... Alright, actually, let's take off that reflection. Alright, just plain blue. Right now, it oh, it won't be anything because I have ambient occlusion and um, what you want to call it. So right now, <clears throat> this will be what it looks like. Looks like shit. Yeah. Um, so yeah, let's just throw a background in there, put the floor on there, and make it composite so it looks a little better. Um, composite the background. Okay, so right now, make sure everyone has ambient occlusion and global illumination on. I will put the link to my render tutorial in the description below if you need help rendering or you need better render settings. Um, I'll put that in there. So uh, for soft boxes, they're pretty uh, pretty easy to use actually. First off, just make a plane, and this is just how I learned how to do it. You can also change the uh, settings to whatever you need them for. Um, I'll put, uh, let's just say, 600 by 600. That'll be the size of your softbox for now. It's a pretty good size for a softbox. Let's just uh, move it. Uh, put it at 90 degrees. There you go. Alright, so that's all it is right now. And then um, you go into lights and do area light. So right now, this is the light that you have. Bring it up here where your softbox is, or where, th where the plane is, and uh, change the change the outer radius. Yeah, go to details and change the outer radius of that. Let's put it at 300. Um, that is perfect size. Wow, okay. Uh, put it at, yeah, 300. Put the outer radius at 300. And um, go to change your shadows and put shadow map soft and uh, go to details and uh, put down the in intensity a little bit put it down to, I don't know, 65, 70, 75, whatever you want however intense you want your lights to be so yeah, change that and uh, let's see here, after that you just go make a material really quick um, take off everything except illuminance and you just have that plain material, you don't need to change the color or else you have like weird ass lighted materials you have like blue lights and shit um, so you don't really want that so just drag the luminance onto the plane you've got that bright bright luminance um, so yeah after that uh, let's see here go to your plane uh, go to tags cinema 40 tags and compositing and uh, take off receive shadows um, cast shadows and scene by camera so you can't see the light itself um, and um, yeah 
put all that in and then go to uh, the square and throw in a null object and just name it whatever you want this can just be softbox that'll be your softbox um, and you can just drag these two onto here onto your softbox so now it's one object when you drag this around it'll drag the light and the plane around um, so yeah now when you go to softbox put the same exact tags as you did for the plane just put uh, cast shadows, receive shadows, seen by camera and uh, just do that and then we can uh, move move where the softbox is going move wh how you want your light to be and typically uh, if I'm making like something that needs to have like good lighting I'll put a softbox over here uh, copy and paste it I'll put another softbox over here um, doesn't need to be perfect right now because I'm just showing you guys um, so yeah and then uh, a lot of the times I put a softbox above it as well um, just for extremely good lighting uh, that's how you need to do it uh, 90 oh shit and 90 okay there we go and then just bring that like right above that and then um, this is really rough also so <laughs> keep that in mind guys um but yeah so now let's just show this at that angle let's see if the uh lighting is better than this the uh, regular light it should be and yeah there you go now you've got high quality lighting that looks cool um you've got lights from every different angle it looks a lot more natural and uh yeah that's a uh, that's how you do lighting um and guys i'll put a link to this in the description about render tutorial um rendering really isn't hard it's like a two to three minute tutorial um that just shows you guys how to how to get the render settings right or at least the render settings that i typically use so yeah guys that's how you use softboxes they're really useful for a lot of things they're useful for animations um still pictures they're useful for compositing like a an object into a uh, 2d picture so yeah guys i hope you enjoyed that um i hope you check out this new show that's uh that's gonna be airing actually it just just aired today or yesterday i believe um yeah i checked it out it's a pretty cool show actually so yeah guys uh check that out leave a comment like and guys we're trying to get a lot more followers on our facebook and twitter so if you could go like that or whatever you use more facebook or twitter i use the facebook more and val uses the twitter more so uh just use whatever you want to hear us more on or if you don't want to hear us at all that's cool um i'm just glad everyone subscribed to us and uh uh, thanks everyone for watching, and uh, I'll talk to you soon, very soon actually. Stay sexy guys, peace.